Hi everybody, this is Propeller Boy. Uh, today I am updating my video tutorial on how to stream using a Mac. Um, this uh, updates the now obsolete video that I made a few months back um, that showed you how to stream to Twitch using software and hardware for, uh, for those of us who are Mac users. That was based around the sort of one-two punch of Cam Twist and Flash Media Live Encoder. Um, the biggest problem now is that Twitch no longer supports Flash Media Live Encoder, and so what are we Mac users to do other than pony up 500 or 1,000 bucks for Wirecast or something? Not to fret, I have figured out another solution. I actually think it works better than Flash Media Live Encoder, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a program. Uh, you're going to need Cam Twist. Here, why don't I actually just I'll outline all the programs you need. You need Cam Twist. You need this new program, Coco Split, that I've found. Uh, you are going to need Audio Hijack Pro, which is a $32 program from Rogue Amoeba. Um, that's the only uh, paid program you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need uh, Soundflower. And if you want to do like a little split counter, you're going to need Landfair, uh, which is a little W split alternative for Mac users. Um, if I've forgotten anything, we'll, uh, I'll update along as I go but I think that I've actually covered everything right now. So uh, we're gonna start with, um, the first thing you need to do actually is you need to have a Twitch account. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, not the least of which is that uh, <laughs> if you wanna actually stream to Twitch, that's what you need to do. So here's mine. Uh, I've signed up, I've created it, I've done all that sort of stuff. I'm assuming you already have uh, one of those. If you are looking uh, to actually find your uh, your stream key. This is the first thing that you're going to need with regards to Coco Split. Uh, I'll refer to this later, but uh, go to twitch.tv, sign up if you haven't already, and then um, the only thing you'll really need from uh, there is your stream key, where if you go straight to twitch.tv uh, and then you, you come in via your, uh, your button here, assuming you've already logged in, you go to your dashboard and then the dashboard will have your stream key over here. Uh, you can click on it and then reveal, show key to reveal it and then you can just copy paste that um, into uh, Coco Split when we get to that. So that's the first step is twitch.tv, have an account, uh, no problem. So other than that, uh, we're going to need a program called Cam Twist. This is, a, if you Google Cam Twist, um, Cam Twist Studio, it'll be right there, you can download it. Never mind this rating, it's actually a really great program. Um, Cam Twist is the program that will prepare your video feed to be streamed to Twitch. Uh, and once you have that, uh, we can start working on, uh, on that. That's the first thing we're going to prepare, is we're going to prepare uh, the video first. So here's Cam Twist. I'm gonna load it up. My computer's thinking a little hard right now because, of course, I'm screen recording as well as everything. The first thing um, that we are going to do with uh, Cam Twist is prepare the actual um, video feed from our capture card. And if you're like me and you have a Black Magic, you can actually have it go straight in, um, or you can do it from uh, your actual game capture window. And generally speaking, um, most game capture cards are not going to have a direct uh, line in. Like if I actually go to webcam here, I can actually pick uh, the the Black Magic uh, feed, and then if I do the preview here, you'll see that it actually is showing up in my window. Uh, I can do that, or I can use the the actual uh, caption window device, whatever you prefer. The problem with this is that if you just do it like this, then you're not going to be able to record as well as stream. But if you just want to stream, then you can technically do this. So, so that's all you need to do to set up the, your actual video feed here. Technically, if this is all you need, you're almost ready to go straight away. However, we're going to look for a, a much more uh, intricate setup um, here. And I'll actually show you how to do that from the uh, your game capture preview window. Um, not the, this is the, this is the uh, of course, the Cam Twist preview window. I'm going to show you how to do that from your game capture software preview window, be it uh, Avermedia or Roxio or whatever. If it doesn't get picked up by Cam Twist as a camera, not, don't fret, we'll figure it out. So let's kill this. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go away to, uh, let's see, we're going to open up my, this is my game capture, um, whoops. 
This is my game capture. Uh, here, I'll close Cam Twist for a second. I think Cam Twist is just sort of taking over the uh, my Black Magic card. There we go. So this is my preview window for uh, my Black Magic. I've just turned my NES off, so it's that's why it's blue. The reason why I'm keeping it like this is uh, you'll see in a second. If I open Cam Twist back up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the uh, the preview. Oops. I'm going to drag uh, a preview selection across the actual preview, and of course we'll have this stupid counter here, but you know, that's uh, nothing to fret about. Oh, uh, before we do anything else actually, the first thing you need to do when you open Cam Twist, open Preferences, that's Command, Comma, and you're just going to want to make sure that, in general, you have a frame rate setting and a video size setting that whatever you choose it to be stays consistent with what you have with Coco Split a little bit later on. But We'll get to that. So just make note of this. I have it set up for 30 frames per second and 720 by 360. Um, that's uh, you know a little bit on the lower side, but it'll make sure that everything runs smoothly and runs well. Uh, I'm running an awful lot of programs here, and I'm recording my screen, so I just want everything to run smoothly. Um, the audio output device doesn't matter. Uh, so I have, again, 30 frames per second, 720 by 360, which is a custom video size. So we're all set. So now we're going to prepare the... Uh, we're going to prepare our video source. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Desktop Plus, double click it, and then in the settings bit we're going to confine it to an application window, and we're going to find, uh, uh, in this case, Media Express. That's my, uh, my capture cards preview screen here, and I'm going to select, oops, I'm going to select the capture area. So as you can see it's selected the whole window here, I don't want it to do that. I want it to be much smaller, just to fit around this blue square here, which is my preview window. Now, most capture cards don't actually have stupid, uh, you know, time time codes on them. Uh, and again, I could be grabbing it directly from the camera, but um, I'm doing it for this this way. It's actually it's it's just one less thing to think about, and it means that I can actually record and stream at the same time, which is very nice. So uh, I'm done selecting. Now at any point in Cam Twist, if you hit Command P, it'll show you a preview of uh, what is what is current your uh, your setup is currently looking like. So that's good, and then you can always close that with Command W. So there is my video my video feed. Again, if I do the preview, it'll show me. Yeah, there we go. Contra's going on, no problem. Let me turn that off. Um, we want to spiff that up a little bit. So. Uh, beyond that, we're going to add a little bit of, let's say, we're going to add a couple of things. We're going to add some scrolling text, for example. Uh, where is that? So that's scrolling text. Right there, here we go. Scrolling text. It's going to say, Propeller Boy Contra Test Stream. Uh, we'll take a look at the preview just to make sure everything's looking good. So we want to, you know, and I want to change that font a little bit. I'm going to change that to press start K, which is my standard sort of, uh, you know, the Nintendo font. Speed is okay. The font size, I'm going to make it a little smaller. You always have to hit enter to update everything. And I'm going to make sure that it goes a little bit lower, sort of near the bottom of my stream. The speed's a little fast, too. I think I'm going to make it. Maybe that's actually. There we go. The higher the number, the slower it is. So there we go. Uh, we've taken care of that. Say I want to put on like a little, uh, little bit of bling. Um, I am going to, uh, let's see, for a second, just minimize this, uh, put on image overlay, and then in the image window, I'm going to throw in peanut butter jelly time, nice dated internet reference. So that's a little big. I'm going to scale him down a little. Sorry, Mr. Banana. That looks about oh, maybe maybe a little more. Just fine tuning it a little bit. 
Good. That's great. And I will use this to position him over in the corner a little. Oh, come on. So he can hang out up here. Peanut butter jelly time. So the last thing I'm going to want to include is I'm going to want to include my uh, uh, my splits. So I'm using a program called Landfair to do this. Uh, Landfair. The way to find this program it's it's a W split alternative, and it uh, oh, come on. W split. Uh, is of course the the best program to use, but it's Windows only. So if you do a search for um, Landfair, that's L L A N F A I R. Whoa! <laughs> It'll be the first thing that comes up, and then you can. Uh, what you'll want to do when you go to this page is you will download the jar fit for any system, and that's a Java file, and it will work in uh, Apple OS X. So I've done that. I've actually got it all set up uh, and uh, configured properly. It's very easy um, to set up. You just need to, uh, oops, you right click it and then there's like a, a settings menu that pops up. You can set it, edit it, what have you. So now, uh, in order to show that in my uh, video feed, I'm going to go to um, Desktop Plus, Picture in Picture, and uh, go to the desktop plus settings screen confined to application window and I'm going to pick Landfair. So now, um, oops, you know what I've actually, the reason why I'm not uh, doing this properly is, uh, there we go. Oh, you know, now that I have my, my uh, you have to be careful about minimizing the programs that, that uh, uh, that Cam Twist is capturing because it's uh, it can be a little finicky that way. But peanut butter jelly time, taking a look at him quickly. I want to move him a little bit over to the right, into this black area. So boop boop boop. Well, maybe I don't even need to nudge him. I can actually do it. So he's mostly out of the way. That's fine. Let's just put him there. He can be grooving up in that corner. Um, how does that look like with my Nintendo one, I wonder? Let's see. Yeah, pretty much mostly out of the way. So there we go. Good. Now, obviously, my in the preview window, my, my uh, this is too big. My, uh, uh, my split is too big. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, go to my picture-in-picture -picture desktop setting. This is where, uh, of course, I, uh, it's grabbing the, uh, the image from this this program. What Desktop Plus allows you to do is grab the video from a particular uh, application, never minding if another application is on top of it. So I'll go to Picture in Picture Settings. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to crop it a little. Crop the bottom so we get that little thing out of there. And then I'm going to move it over to this side. Now, I mean, ultimately what I could do too is I could actually resize my, uh, oops, I could resize my Black Magic's video source. Um, But I, you know, I really don't need to do that. This is just like a, a basic sort of thing to give you the idea of what's going on. Now, how much is that taking up with my... If I actually start playing a little bit. I mean, realistically, not a whole lot is... Uh, this looks really choppy, but it's, um, it's actually going to work very well. Um, it's looking choppy because I'm running 17 programs at once. Um, you'll try this out. You'll see that it ends up working actually a lot better. Um, so that actually looks not so bad. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep that there. So now we have everything we need here. I'll, I'll actually minimize this so we can just look at the preview. We've got peanut butter jelly time. We've got my video stream in here. We've got this streaming text. We have my splits that I can, uh, you know, 
Oh, look at that. I started to split. I stopped to split. I reset it. It's all good. So that's the video that's going to be sent to, uh, to Twitch via Coco Split. So that's really set. We're going to close my preview window right now, and I'm, we can leave Cam Twist alone. So the next thing you need to do is get your audio ready. And so for that, I use a program called Audio Hijack Pro. Audio Hijack Pro is uh, from Rogue Amoeba. They make really great software for Mac. Oops, did I not open it? Here we go. If you just Google um, Audio Hijack Pro, then uh, it's right here. It is a $32 download, and I do not endorse um, pirated software. Uh, it's well worth it. It's not only for routing audio, but for recording things. It's the best solution for recording both ends of Skype calls. Uh, it can basically jack any audio that comes through your system individually. It can capture game audio, it can capture this, that, the other thing, or it can capture a combination and route them to something else. So you're going to need Audio Hijack Pro, and you're also going to need a program called um, Soundflower. Anyway, you're going to download a program called um, Soundflower which is a free download. Just do a search for it. You download Soundflower. It's from the cycling74.com page. You download it, you run it, free program, and basically what that'll do is it'll route a couple of different audio sources into a single mixer, uh, which is really fabulous. So you just download it, and there you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open Audio Hijack Pro. Once we have installed both programs, Audio Hijack Pro and Soundflower, um, Soundflower comes with an application called Soundflower Bed. I'll get to that in a second. We open Hi Audio Hijack Pro, and there's a couple of things you're going to do. With Audio Hijack Pro, I've already got a couple of things preset, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. You're going to want to root your microphone. That is the microphone that you're using to actually give commentary if you're doing that. Um, I'm using a Yeti stereo microphone. I already have it set up here, but I'll add another one. You hit plus in the bottom, select the source, source type, audio device, and then you find your microphone, again in my case it's the Yeti, and you are going to set the output to Soundflower 64 channels, okay? Soundflower 64 channels. Now, um, I'm going to take the audio directly from, uh, so that's one, that's, that's, the, that's your mic audio. And once you hijack that, it will take that to um, Soundflower's uh, 64 channel. So I'm hijacking that now. You can see that I'm actually speaking uh, in these. These bars are showing the sound meter. That's all very good. Um, that's fine for now. Uh, I'm also going to be taking the Blackmagic Audio device, which I, I, I added to the same way. Hit plus, uh, select a source, source type, audio device, select. It'll show up as Blackmagic Audio. That's the audio from my capture card. Um, and then I wrote that again to Soundflower 64 channels, and I will hijack that. And so now both my microphone output and my uh, stereo microphone, this is going to Soundflower, and this is going to Soundflower, and let's see, I mean, if I hit on pause, you'll hear like more sound, there we go. I'm shooting around, there's more, there's more audio from my NES, you get the idea. So now both of these are going to Soundflower, which is sort of like a virtual uh, mixer. Um, anything else you want to do, you want to do the same way. Now, assuming your capture card doesn't have a direct audio device, what you're going to do in this case is you would take, say for example, I'll add another one, uh, select source, source type application, and then you'd pick the application. And this application, uh, in this case, would be Media Express because that's my capture card software. And when you're done, when you're done with that, it works a little bit differently. What you need to do is you need to go to a, if it's an application, like say your HD PVR or uh, Roxio Game Capture HD Capture Software, whatever, you go to Effects, and then you would click to add an effect in one of these boxes. You go to 4FX Effect, Auxiliary Device Output, and then what you would do is you would have it go to Soundflower 64 channels. And then instead of hijacking uh, Blackmagic Audio directly, you would hijack the audio from your capture card, uh, from your capture card preview software, pardon me. Uh, but I'm actually not going to do that because I want to get the audio directly from my, 
Uh, what is this? Did I pick the right one here? Anyway, um, where did it go? BD Express, yeah. Instead of hijacking this, I would hijack Black Magic Audio 264 uh, channel of Soundflower. Hijack. So right now, my microphone and my uh, my capture card, the audio from that are being mixed into a virtual sound stream that I will upload in tandem to Twitch along with my video. So we've prepared the audio, we've prepared the video. If you want to take a look at the uh, the levels, the mixed levels, you can uh, search for Soundflower Bed. And what that does is it actually, uh, it's a program I have it currently actually running in my in my dock here. Uh, what it'll do is it'll it will uh, do monitor. Uh, you can listen through headphones. It'll monitor what Soundflower is capturing, but you really don't need it. Uh, it's not a necessary thing. Um, you uh, you access it right in here, and then what you do is you'd actually take a look at. Uh, you just take it to Soundflower 64 channels, and then you listen to the output, and it would hear you doing all these things. Uh, I have my my sound off right now, so actually it's probably going kind of hinky right now. But um, anyway, there it is. So uh, let's see. Uh, we have we have everything pretty much set up that we need. We have our uh, audio prepared. We have our video prepared through um, Cam Twist. The last thing that we need to do remember to make sure to minimize, not uh, uh, minimize. Don't don't close. You will search for Coco Twist. Uh, no, sorry, Coco Split. What's wrong with me? Thinking Cam Twist, Coco Split. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the first Google, uh, first Google bit, first Google hit, and then you go down to the binaries. It will take you to a different website, and the current zip file is there. You just uh, unzip it. You don't need to install it. It's just an application that runs on its own, and uh, that's what we're going to do now. We are going to run uh, Coco Split. Coco Split is a very simple uh, streaming utility. This is what replaces Flash Media Live Encoder. I'm going to tell you how to set it up. It's very easy. You will go to, uh, the, the type has to be QT Capture. The source can be any one of these cameras. Again, you can do the direct capture from your capture card if it exists. Uh, but in this case, because we've set it up so beautifully already, we're going to go to Cam Twist. We're going to make sure that the compression is X.264. Um, and we're going to go to the gear here to change a couple of things. Set the presets to very fast, no value, high 444, and then set these uh, bit rates uh, to uh, set, set them to whatever your upload, your internet upload speeds can handle. Um, this is something, I don't have a great, I have a great download speed, but not a great upload speed. That's often the way it is with Canada uh, on a Canadian internet connection. Um, but this will work pretty much fine. You'll notice that my, my, uh, my VBV buffer is 300 higher than my max rate. That's what you want to, uh, you want to do. You make it, whatever it is, make it 300 higher than your, uh, your max rate. And uh, you can experiment with this. If you're dropping frames and things like that, then lower your, your, uh, your max rate and your, um, and your buffer. This is, again, it represents, if you have 1,500 um, kilobits per second upload capability, then you want to make sure definitely it's below that. Like I think mine is three, uh, three thousand kilobits per second um, max rate of uh, that's that's my upload speed. And so you don't want to go more than like sixty or seventy five percent of that because you also have to worry about audio. Set your keyframe to every two seconds, CRF to two seconds, and absolutely make sure that CBR mode is on. So these are the presets, and you can change these depending on your internet connection. Hit OK. Make sure that the resolution is the same that's in Cam Twist. Um, remember, you can find that out from Cam Twist preferences. Make sure that the FPS is the same from Cam Twist. And the audio, we're going to set the audio to Soundflower 64 channels. And then the bit rate, and the, keep the sample rate, whatever it is. Keep the bit rate, um, you know, somewhere in the realm of 128 or lower uh, for optimum sort of like sound quality that doesn't interfere with like, you know, uh, it's not going to be too much of a pain to download. Um, once that's done, you are going to need to add, I've already got my Twitch set up uh, right here, but the easiest thing, uh, when you first open this up, it'll be blank. Just go to no value, go to Twitch TV, and you'll add one. And what you're going to do is you're going to find, you click on the server, you find your closest server. In this case, it's, uh, it's probably New York for me. 
That's what I have for my other one. And the key is your stream key from Twitch. And so that's where you go back to your browser, you go to your dashboard in your Twitch account, find your stream key, show your stream key, and copy-paste it into here. I'm not going to show you mine because that means you can stream on my channel. Uh, anyway, I have it all set up right now. And so I am now ready to go. We can see what my, uh, we can see what my stream looks like. Um, I'm going to play a little bit. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit stream. And so now it is streaming to uh, Twitch. It is streaming to my Twitch account. Now you'll see that my FPS are not doing very well right now. It's because I am recording using a screen capture uh, recording uh, right now um, through QuickTime, which is not, you know, not the greatest. I don't happen to have screen flow or anything like that. Uh, so it's going to look a little crappy. Uh, were I not doing this, oops, I'm trying to look at three screens at once. Were I not doing this with us, with this whole screen capture garbage, um, my uh, things would look an awful lot smoother. You can try this yourself. You'll see that there are results. The results are good. Maybe what I could have done is I could have hooked up a camcorder to my screen. So right now, what's being broadcast to Twitch is my uh, my microphone and my game audio. Um, and if I wanted to change those audio streams at any point, um, like if my microphone was not loud enough or my game, my game audio was uh, not loud enough, what you can do is you can actually just uh, in the in Audio Hijack Pro, you would fiddle with those the volume in there. I can show you how afterwards. But anyway, so I'm just playing around a little bit. So this is me playing Contra. I'm not going to bother to kill this. Um, just to show you that I am in fact streaming on Twitch right now. I'll go into Safari. I suppose I can actually start a split right now. I forgot about that. Uh, here, let me just do it. There we go. First level split. Uh, I'm going to go to twitch.tv slash propeller boy. Okay, so you can see now that uh, I've just I've skipped ahead to where I, I don't have AdBlock actually installed on my uh, on my um, uh, Safari. I mean, actually, I don't even know if you can. I don't do much of my stream viewing on my MacBook, but there you have it. Um, you can see that I'm currently streaming this right now. Uh, I'll have my game audio. My microphone will be routed to this. As you might hear the echo from my microphone into this. Uh, all the audio, it's, it's all working. It's all good. Um, and if it's not, all you have to do is just check your connections in uh, audio hijack, this, that, the other thing. And of course, you can always save your presets. So right now, uh, I'm able to stream to Twitch. I'm also able to, like right now, um, if I want, uh, I'm not playing very well, of course. If I want, I can actually, uh, while I'm streaming to Twitch, you'll see that it's streaming just fine. I can record from my game capture, my game capture device. Um, I can record while streaming. I can capture to the uh, my hard drive. Uh, wait a minute. I don't want to overwrite it, but I can definitely do it. I don't know what Untitled 01 is, but you get the idea that, that uh, I can actually do both at the same time. Um, and I can even record, obviously, uh, my commentary from my microphone to sync up and post later. I can do that because I'm recording for this QuickTime recording that I'm doing for the tutorial right now. So that's pretty much it. <coughs> the combination of, uh, of um, Cam Twist to prepare your video, uh, Soundflower and Audio Hijack to prepare your audio, whatever your game capture device software is, uh, either the direct input or the preview uh, screen to capture the, uh, the, the video. And of course, eventually, the, and the audio as well, if you need to, if it's not a direct line in. And uh, Landfair for splits. Whoops. Landfair for my splits. You know, I can just do uh, this sort of thing, no sweat. Whoops. Uh, do you want to save them? No. I can do my, my splits over there. Uh, and then, of course, Coco Twist to uh, Coco Split, pardon me, to actually do the streaming to uh, to Twitch. And of course, like I'm not getting great FPS right now. It's because I'm doing I'm doing this QuickTime recording. That's why. Um, but you'll see it looks pretty good. Uh, it works pretty well. When you're done, you just hit stop, and then you're no longer you're no longer streaming to Twitch. Uh, but basically, that's how you do it. Um, 
one last thing I forgot to show you in Audio Hijack is while you're hijacking, if you want to change if you want to change the uh, the individual levels, what you can do, I can take a look right now. I'm checking my stereo microphone. I'm getting pretty good, you know, sort of uh, level there. The Black Magic, um, what's the level there? It should be a little less. That's good. Um, I would check Soundflower Bed to check the, the levels, but if you want to change the rate at which, I'll do it on my microphone because you can sort of see it more dynamically. What I can do is I can go to effects if I want it to be lower. I go to effects and I just go to gain and I turn it down. And so now um, you don't actually see it in the bars, but you can hear it in Soundflower Bed. So you do this in conjunction with Soundflower Bed. Listen and you can just change uh, the audio levels until you get a good mix because this mix is what's going to get output to Twitch. Um, so that's it. That's uh, that's the whole shebang. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and that's the way to be able to stream with a Mac. It works really well. Try it yourselves. The only program you need to buy is Audio Hijack Pro. Uh, and it's 32 bucks. It's well worth it. You can use it for a host of other things. It works better than the free alternatives. And it means that you can have your game audio and your microphone set in. This whole setup works better than the built-in software that comes with, uh, say, the... Um, the Elgato Game Capture, which is what I have that as well as a backup. Uh, that's great. It's quick and dirty for streaming. Uh, not so bad. Uh, but it means that you can't put splits on there. You can't put in your you know, other graphics or things. Um, Coco, Coco Split is what you can use to use Cam Twist's awesome ability to uh, prepare your video and have it go in looking like this um, rather than uh, uh, with a split or whatever, rather than... Uh, um, than just the, the video and the audio, and you have more control over your microphone. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope this has been helpful because I know what a pain it is to try and figure out how to stream properly uh, on a Mac. Ask questions. This has sort of been a stream of consciousness tutorial. If I haven't done it the best, I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, hopefully this has been useful, and uh, I do respond to the questions in the comments, so uh, this should work for you. This will work on Twitch. As of right now, it's Thursday, April the 10th, 2014. This works. Flash Media Live Encoder does not. So there you go. Thanks a lot, folks. Hey, boomer buddies, give me a hug.